I got ripped off. What's up guys, Broken Famous here for Vintage Kicks Gallery and today we have an unfortunate circumstance. I got ripped off. These Jordan 185s came up for sale out of Japan and they were a very good deal. Unfortunately, I couldn't read the description because it was in Japanese and the pictures looked like they were taken on a late 90s cell phone, if they even had cameras back then. Long story short, when I opened the box, my heart sank because I immediately noticed some telltale signs. All right, let's talk bootleg 1985s or counterfeits. Um, there are some batches out there. This one in particular, I believe is from 1994 and out of Japan. They pop up from time to time and there are some telltale signs that we're gonna teach you so you won't get ripped off as well. So let's grab an authentic pair from 1985 so we can start comparing and learn what to look for when you're out there shopping. All right, this is how they came right out of the box. I wanted to get a uh, pretty good representation of how they look, so I stuffed this one and cleaned it up a bit so we can make a good comparison. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one, set it aside for now. And let's focus on this one. All right, so how did I know right off the bat that this was a bootleg or a counterfeit pair? It's pretty easy, actually. What I want you to take a look at is the check or the swoosh. Do you see any difference here? Take a closer look. See how smooth that is here? The texture here, that's leather. This is a vinyl plastic. It's supposed to be a vinyl or a plastic. Now let's take a look at the shape in general. Do you see the minute difference? That's right, the shape isn't even correct. All right, if you can spot that, you've already spotted the vast majority of the fake or bootleg 1985s. But let's look at some other stuff that's different. I wanna draw your attention to the toe box perforations here. Look how precise and the slight change in size the authentic pair has from the bootleg. Once you see it, you won't be able to unsee it. One of the signature details on a 1985 is the height of the tongue. If you pull it up, you can see it actually sits above the collar. This one barely reaches the collar. You can't pull it any higher. On top of that, you could tell a noticeable difference in the material. This one is hollow feeling. It's a bit stiff. Um, it feels more like a, a synthetic or a plastic, whereas this feels more like cotton. Now let's look inside. These are board lasted, but I wanna draw your attention to the stamp on the inside. Take a look. Notice how faint that is compared to an original. Also, the fakes are notorious for having BY stamped as the factory. Now let me draw your attention to the soles. If you feel the sole on a bootleg, you notice how flimsy it is. It has no weight to it whatsoever. Whereas an authentic pair has structure, has rigidity. Now let's take a look at the overall shape. Do you notice any difference? Obviously they're not the same size, but take a look at the nice signature 85 shape here. And then we have this wonky shape here. You can't identify what exactly is wrong, but you can tell it's just not right. Now let's look at the back. Wow, what a difference that is. Can you see it? This shoe is just, it's way off. It sits lower. Um, it's actually wider than an authentic one. And when you pick them up again, you know instantly, this is just not right. All right, now let's take a look at the outsole. You'll notice that the authentic pair has a very, very detailed bottom of the printing. As opposed to this, it almost looks like somebody took a photocopy or a picture in low resolution and then printed it. Now let's take a look at the stitching. If you take a look here, you'll notice that the stitching stops right at the top of the check. Whereas on an authentic pair, and you can check any pair even a retro, it goes above by about four or five millimeters. Again, small details, but once you have these in hand, you'll know instantly. One final thing I want you to look at is the tongue tag itself. If you take a look at the back and the wording, you're going to notice that there's a lot of errors, not in spelling or anything like that, but the way it's actually woven. 
telltale sign that they're bootlegs. Well guys, what do you think? Leave a comment below whether you think they're bootlegs or an authentic factory variants. Um, how much did I pay? I'd rather not talk about it, but let's just say this was an expensive mistake and hopefully you guys learned enough in this video to not get caught yourselves. The moral of the story is, always ask for good picks. When it's in Japanese, translate and buy with buyer protection. All right guys, thanks, have a good one. Guys, we're still giving away free stuff. Visit www.the85project.com slash contest and enter today. Good luck.